Hello guys and welcome back for a new review. Today we're going to take a look at Mike Hazard Double Agent. So just got this guy in. I've uh, been wanting one. I have uh, was on the search for him at one point and I forgot about him. And then uh, watching a video, heard someone mention him and uh, triggered my, uh, my memory that I was interested in this figure. And I hunted one down. Got it off eBay, and it did come with the box. This is a really awesome box. I love this uh, vintage box art. Uh, this is from, I believe, 1966 or 67, and I think it was Mark's uh, answer to 007. So Mike has a double agent. Really, really cool figure. Uh, I can imagine getting this back in... Uh, the late 60s a kid would be thrilled with the amount of accessories this guy comes with mine is not complete but he does have a few of the accessories and here is Mike Hazard himself the figure is in really good shape it looks like it needs very minor cleaning on the face the eye on the figure looks like there's something going on and uh, I might need a little bit of paint touch up for the hair. So taking a closer look at what I'm talking about here. Uh, something going on with the eye. And then the uh, hair needs a little bit of a touch up. But other than that, this figure is in great shape. Uh, joints are tight. Uh, I haven't noticed any cracks. It's amazing the... Uh, the hands are still pliable uh, with these Marks figures. It's great. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can clean him up just a little bit. Fix his uh, hair rubs and then we'll go over what he came with. So it looks like uh, Mike's got a little bit of an eye infection. Let's see if we can't clean this out just using some water. I'm hesitant to use uh, rubbing alcohol because I'm not sure how this paint will uh, be affected by it and it looks like it's coming off so that is nice so that solves that which is nice and simple a little water on a q-tip can't complain about that He's got a little bit of grime on them it's always a good idea to clean used figures when you get them because you don't really know who's handled them and how. So just clean them up a bit. Okay, so let's take a closer look at Mike Hazard. So, uh, I am picking up a very distinctive John Wayne vibe from this head sculpt. Uh, I haven't really, uh, don't know much about this figure, but I definitely can see some John Wayne in the uh, sculpt. Looks like it might have been inspired by that. I could definitely be wrong. But having it in hand, I'm, I'm picking that up. Uh, as far as articulation goes on the uh, Marks figures, it's uh, pretty much just like a uh, Johnny West. So the head swivels back and forth. There's a spring that runs through the chest. It also holds the head on so the head can kind of do the turtle. But... Uh, the arms could swivel out somewhat. Do get a little bit of a spring back with that. The elbow has a slightly more than 90 degree bend. There's also a hinge as well, which is cool. 
and then you got a bit of a ball joint on the hand um, nothing in the waist but the hips could go forward back and out a bit it's on a hinge so it doesn't really go out that that far and um, you get a 90 at the knee uh, there's no swivel beyond that and there's no ankle so pretty uh, usable articulation but nothing outstanding but enough to get the job done okay let's go over the accessories I do have for Mike here so we got a bowler hat molded in a tannish plastic pretty flexible does fit on the figure very well same for the driver hat still uh, flexible nice detail that they've got going on in there um, this I am not 100% sure but it looks like it goes into the radio uh, perhaps turns it into a gun <laughs> not really sure but a cool accessory nonetheless uh, looks like we've also got a uh, camera or some video surveillance that's very cool a recording device and a microphone so put that under the uh, coat and he could uh, record secret conversations it's also a very flexible material comes with the Derringer not sure if that's flashing from when it was originally molded or if it's just meant to make it a little easier for him to hold well, that's a pretty cool little accessory uh, we have a looks like a lock picking listening device but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that uh, just got a belt got a lot of loops on here so I'm sure you could hook up a lot of his equipment then he has two suitcases this is the exploding suitcase uh, looks like it would still work um, basically I think you put a cap in here and you can see there's something you could stick in there to lock this in place and then once it's removed boom. So that is pretty awesome definitely got a old-time vintage feel to it looks like an old doctor's bag but that's that and there's also a booby trap suitcase and I'm not sure how this one works because it looks like it's missing quite a bit of parts but it does function well as a suitcase there's a cutout here as well uh, and then last let's take a look at his famous trench coat okay so here's the trench coat uh, marks designed made in Hong Kong uh, it's a little wrinkly but it's actually not dirty I don't know how it's showing up on film but it's in pretty nice shape it does look like it needs a little bit of ironing it's got some nice detail it does have buttons on each sleeve and it's got some secret pocket deal so if you take a look here this is a uh, functioning pocket so you can actually stick things into it right into there so that works this one it looks like he could uh, access perhaps these are pockets as well the way it's sewn for a ton of his gear so he's got all of these secret compartments in the trench coat a really really cool piece okay so Mike Hazard in conclusion it's my favorite Marks figure I don't really own much from Marks uh, I do have the Viking and I recently picked up a Johnny West after having Mike Hazard in my collection uh, for about a week so the premise behind this figure the double agent to spy I think this is the coolest marks figure ever made again I don't have much but from what I do have which is Mike Hazard this figure is awesome I love the sculpt the 
figure. The weight of a Mark's figure, too, is also pretty unique. So they're very solid. It's made of a poly plastic. So he's got a, a weightiness to him, which is pretty cool. Um, I would love to have all of the accessories to go with Mike because uh, that's where I think a lot of the the play value comes in with a figure like this. Just so many gadgets and basically finger food for you to enjoy changing costumes, changing, uh, he's got masks, he's got wigs, glasses, uh, false noses, just that late 60s era Cold War spy uh, aesthetic that goes with this figure along with the, uh, the amazing box art uh, that he came with. It's just a real treat. I really like this figure. Uh, I am thrilled to have Mike has it in my collection. I hope you enjoyed a quick look at him. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time.